Good evening and welcome to In the Public Interest, Connecting Healthy Communities with Capital Health. I'm your host, Zachary Chester. Joining me tonight is my guest, Dr. Michael Cohen, on staff at Capital Health. Welcome. The symptoms for kidney cancer in the early stages, patients don't have symptoms. It's usually when it's advanced that patients may have blood in their urine, they may have weight loss, mm -hmm. they may have pain in their back on one side or the other. Um, so again, that's also usually in the small, in the lower stages, asymptomatic, similar to prostate cancer. Kidney cancer, in contrast, uh, is really just diagnosed by imaging, whether it be an ultrasound initially, and usually it's incidentally found. So if it's an ultrasound for something else, okay. and then they see an abnormality on the kidney, or a CAT scan for something else, some other condition, and then they happen to see a mass on the kidney. Um, and then, so that's primarily the diagnosis for kidney cancer, especially in the early stages where it's otherwise asymptomatic. Other areas that we're using the robot for is for kidney surgery. Mm -hmm. The kidney is an organ that's located in the back. It's a diff very difficult organ to access. With open surgery, a patient would have to have a large incision along the flank, and usually a rib has to actually be removed in order to access wow. the kidney. Okay. So it's quite a morbid procedure, and patients have to usually stay in the hospital for upwards of a week with a significant amount of pain. Now we're able to access the kidney uh, minimally invasively with the robot through uh, four small incisions. A rib doesn't have to be removed. And patients are only in the hospital for about two days after a robotic kidney surgery. We're doing this for cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, usually patients who have a kidney cancer, if it's large, the entire kidney has to be removed. But we're also now able to do partial nephrectomies. So if patients have a kidney tumor that would be amenable for a partial nephrectomy, we could now spare about 80 to 90 percent of the kidney and just remove the tumor itself. Okay. So that's a, quite a significant advancement uh, versus doing an open partial nephrectomy. And again, patients do quite well and uh, we're, you know, we're now successfully uh, uh, performing robotic kidney surgery at Capital Health uh, for the community. So again, it's a, quite an advancement. And some of the other things, robotic surgery uh, has a lot of mystique to it. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, you know, as you get uh, more advanced with technology, uh, it almost seems that it's more complicated and it's more confusing to patients and really can't picture what it is. So what mm -hmm. robotic surgery really is, and really the, I guess I'll start a little more with the history of minimally invasive surgery. So initially, small incisions are made and you then essentially use chopsticks to do laparoscopic surgery. So you're standing at the patient's bedside and doing laparoscopic surgery. Robotic surgery, what it is, is a relatively large robot uh, with arms now attaches to those laparoscopic instruments. The surgeon, uh, or the, whether it be the urologist or other fields that mm -hmm. do it, um, would then, once the robot is attached to the patient and attached to the instruments, then sits down near the bedside at a surgical console. The console has a three-dimensional viewing screen inside. You can magnify and get a terrific high-definition view okay. as to what's going on in the abdomen. And then the surgeon at the console then controls the four different arms of the robot. So he controls where the camera go, goes, mm -hmm. he controls his right and left arm, he controls the assistant arm. So everything that the surgeon does at the console is mimicked inside in the body. So what this affords us is the ability to do precise surgery. Okay. And this is vitally important. Some of the other fields that are doing robotic surgery include uh, gynecologists for removal uh, of the uterus and uh, other benign or cancer conditions of the uterus. Um, and at Capital Health, those are the main areas, urology and gynecology, who are using the robot. Other areas do include cardiac surgery and general mm -hmm. surgery, but uh, definitely less predominant. Now, okay, in the minute that we have left, or two minutes that we have left, again, 
want to give your contact information? Sure. You can uh, contact us at Lawrenceville Urology. Uh, you can go to our website at www.lawrencevilleurology.com. Our phone number is 609-895-1991. Uh, you can also, uh, if there's any questions about any research trials that you have, you can also contact that number. And you can also go to the Capital Health website mm -hmm. at capitalhealth.org and just